Hey guys, Haim here, and this <laughs> is my little brother. <laughs> and he's going away to college in a few days, so I thought, since it's back to school season, I... <laughs> And he's going away to college in a few days, so I thought, since it's back to school season, I'd throw in my two cents on the massive YouTube pool of back to school videos with a few awesome gadgets I found that he, me, you, and anybody can use in the following school year. So make sure you leave a like and or a comment if you enjoy the video, so I know and I'll try to make more content like this. And without further ado, intro time. <laughs> First up, we have an item I bought a long time ago. And it wasn't so much tech as it was just cool. So the review never went up, but here's a preview of what it would have looked like. This is the Mighty Mug. If you're like me and you go to a school where they don't have actual desks, but they have those chairs with those dumb tray things on the side, then you know how frustrating it is, besides the lack of space, the angle those things have. So they're not and whatever you put on there will eventually fall down, say a water bottle or a coffee. This is the problem I had, and I found Mighty Mug to solve it. This video is definitely not sponsored, but Mighty Mug people hit me up. Mighty Mug is a cool looking mug slash thermos that comes in a variety of shapes and sizes and colors, and it's bound to amaze people when you show them what it has up its sleeve. It has this suction cup thing going on that sticks to any flat surface like a desk and it will not fall over when you kick it so if you want to pick it up you just pull it up and it's just like lifting an actual an actual glass and it's great because even if your clumsy classmate hits your desk on his 11th way to the bathroom or you just had enough of that class and you really want to get out your drink won't spill all over the floor and for the sake of going over everything, let's check what's in the box. In the box, you will find the Mighty Mug, and inside the Mighty Mug, you will probably find nothing. Oh, wait, no papers. Now that we're through with it, we have to test it. Next up, a speaker. Actually, two speakers. One more budget-friendly option, and the other one a bit more expensive, but I think it's worth it. Coincidentally, both of them are from JBL. Again, not sponsored. And just to get this out of the way, they both have a power button on the left, followed by the Bluetooth button, and it's stupidly simple pairing. For real, just turn it on, wait for the little and press the Bluetooth button once and listen as it waiting for you to find it on your phone's Bluetooth settings. And boom! After that, they both have a volume down and up button and a phone shaped icon that can be used to answer calls in speaker mode and talk through the microphones located on the right side on the go and right next to the phone button on the Charge 2 Plus. Flipping things over, even though they're Bluetooth speakers, they both have 
a 3.5 millimeter jack to plug your phone in directly and not have to deal with Bluetooth and a micro USB port to charge them. Both disappearing standards. This is the JBL Charge 2 Plus. It measures in at around 185 millimeters wide, 75 millimeters tall and 75 millimeters deep. Pros. Compared to the smaller JBL speaker, its larger size gives it a richer sound with two high quality woofers on either side. And with a bigger side and price point, you get extra features no matter how useful or unnecessary you might find them. Speaking of useful, those five LEDs discreetly resting under the volume up and <coughs> down and up buttons to show you how much battery you have left. Speaking of battery, this thing has a 6,000 mAh battery, which they say is able to keep this thing playing for 12 hours and charge your phone through the USB Type-A on the bottom. On the other side of the usefulness spectrum, let's say, we find the new, um, uh, the new uh, triangles with circles on top, the new group button, excuse me, the new social mode that lets you connect up to three devices to the speaker, which I have no idea how it works or how useful it is to you. The Charge 2 Plus is also splash proof and a little tip, if you put it horizontally on the desk, it gives a more stereo sound than if you put it vertically. Cons, just like the other Bluetooth speaker, this one has no dedicated play pause looking buttons and the volume up and down buttons don't change the track. This is like, and the bigger size might be more difficult to carry around. Moving on, this is the JBL Go. It measures in at 70 millimeters by 83 millimeters by 30 millimeters. Pros. Its small size makes it super easy to carry around in a bag and it even has a very handy cutout for a strap if you really want to strap it on your neck. I don't know. All around the speaker, other than the side with the actual speaker grill, it sports this rubbery matte pink-ish finish. Even though it's supposed to be red, that doesn't show fingerprints that much and it will probably save it from a minor fall cons and those are just like personal cons like I said the phone icon doubles as a play pause button but I would rather have seen a more dedicated play pause looking button. and also pressing and holding the volume up and down buttons don't change the track and those are just personal cons I'm just used to it from every other device ever to round up this category, and as anyone would expect, the more expensive JBL Charge 2 Plus has a more immersive sound, so it could much more effortlessly fill a room, say using it as speakers as a replacement for your crappy laptop ones when you want to watch a movie. But here's a sound test nonetheless. Speaking of things that are listed as red but look pink most of the time, this power bank. Very important, very handy, because phones these days, admittedly, don't last all day. I can't even get three hours of screen on time on my Galaxy S7 Edge. What? I think something's wrong with my battery. Okay, so say you left your place today to go to school, to university, work, and you had a couple of classes and meetings. You're exhausted, you made plans with your friends though, and you look at your phone, you see that you left the Wi-Fi on all day, scanning, stupid Wi-Fi. Now your battery's dying. What do you do? You go home, plug your phone in, wait by the power plug for it to charge, then go meet them? Or do you check your backpack for that awesome power bank you found on Ham's video, clicked on the link in the description, waited three to five business days for it to arrive, now you've charged it and it's ready to go. 
Um, hello, the video is about the power bank. Of course you take the power bank, bro. Of course you're gonna take the power bank. This is from Parkman, and even though it came in and like 83% of the top was falling off, it was like 95 though. They were nice and quick enough to respond, and they refunded me the money, so props to them. So what do you get for 16 pounds? For 16 pounds, you get 12,000 milliamp hours that is enough to charge my Galaxy S7 Edge three times and still have some juice left. Or the iPhone 5S seven times. It comes in this red, blue, lime, yellow, white. And I think 12,000 milliamp hours is the bigger capacity they sell, but I also think that's plenty. And you can find a link to it down in the video description. It's called the H3 and it uses one micro USB to charge itself and two USB type A outputs. Anyway, to go along with your power bank, you can use this cable bundle thing. I actually did a video on a couple of months back, I think, to charge your device or devices and help a friend at the same time. Like I said on the other video, I got the googly colored one and I call it that because Come on, look at it. These things don't happen by accident. This is the USB Type-C version, but you can also get it in blue and white, green and white, all black, or the colorful one with the Apple 30-pin connector. You know, if you're living that iPhone 4 life though. Though, like it says on their Amazon page, please note, this cable is not MFI certified and not support sync data which it would have been awesome. But anyway, the next one that's pretty much like this, it's a bracelet that also doubles as a charger and USB transferring cable. But unfortunately, it did not arrive in time for the video. And I'm not gonna stall this any longer. And lastly, a gadget I use daily this USB 3.0 hub from, huh? What the fuck is that? Harpus, Hapoor's, 9-in-1? Do they not know how to count? With this, not only do I get three extra USB slots that can transfer to USB 3.0 blazing fast speeds, but also an SD and micro SD slots that can also transfer in USB 3.0 speeds, which is awesome because trust me, if you have to download 10 gigs of content through that camera, it's a nightmare if it's any slower, which I guess makes this five to one, not nine in one. Anyway, the only thing I don't like about this is that it has this damn on off switch for some reason. I don't know why it's there. And if you need more ports, this is definitely an excellent pickup. As always, you can find links for all the products mentioned in the video down in the description. And to be completely honest with you, those are Amazon affiliate links. So if you do decide to pick one up, I get a little kickback with no extra cost to you. I have, I have links to Amazon UK, the Germany one, and the French one. And I also have a link for the US one, but that's not affiliated because Amazon US is being a So if you want to support the channel, I also have a PayPal link that you can use to donate anything you want, as little as you want, as much as you want. So I can continue making content for you guys. So thanks for watching guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or feedback. Click the box on the left to go to a random video on the channel. Click the box on the right to go to the last video I uploaded. And make sure you subscribe for more colorful content. See you in the next one.